So it's a Saturday and one of the joys of not moving every single weekend means we have time to do jobs like... Engine service. It's engine service time. But this time it shouldn't be as dramatic. We're pretty confident we know what we're doing now. It should be a pretty simple routine. This is our third service. time doing it. We've got all the bits now, including a new cool device that we can show you. I'm pretty sure... Touch wood, it should just go fine. Also, I've got a new hat to give us luck and good fortune for the job. Thanks, Shani. So we ordered some bits from Midland Chandlers. So we have got toilet service parts, which we're gonna do another day. We have got a oil filter. That's the hard one, isn't it? It depends. First time the oil filter was stubborn, second time the fuel filter was stubborn. We've got an air filter, which is easy. This, this time, time it's pink. Oh, that's slightly throwing me off though, but the air filter is the easiest one. We've got fuel filter and we've got two new big gloves of, we went for the genuine Beta Marine for the actual engine oil. Um, and we're pretty sure this is correct. Yeah. So the engine should be very pleased because we've, we've kind of neglected it. We're actually supposed to do our engine service every six months because we travel so much, but we haven't done it in a year. So we thought as an apology to the engine, <laughs> we'll get it proper oil. <laughs> Give her a treat. <laughs> nice. If you've seen our previous service videos, then you might know that the filters can be pretty stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> and we've always been sort of in the middle of nowhere or we've not been in a place where we can get any additional tools so we've either had to basically burst a blood vessel getting them off or have to drive screwdrivers through it which is like a real last resort strategy but this year <laughs> we've got an actual filter pliers set thing with slip joint oh she's a beauty Ooh, look what at do you think, Cassandra? Why Cassandra? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh yes. <clears throat> Ooh, quite harsh. I'd like to see the filter. Oh yeah, it's actually. Isn't it? Oh, I thought it was rubber. Yeah, I did. Oh no, that that's gonna crush it. Be careful with Cassandra then. <laughs> <laughs> She's a feisty one. <laughs> Cassandra, crash! Oh, we need that box. We need to keep the box. <laughs> Wesley, stop it. Easy. You can't be trusted with such tools. Here we go. Here's our lovely engine. And we did have these in the engine bay. And we're pretty sure one is fresh oil and one is our old oil from last time. There's barely anywhere to dispose of old oil. So we end up carting it around for so long that we've forgotten what's usable and what isn't. Because someone gave us this. Thank you if it was you. And we are going to transfer all of our old oil, which we're pretty sure is in there. Clean new oil is thick and it's pretty clear. It's kind of got like a yellowy tinge. Old oil is really runny. Dark and black. Black. Oh no. It's fresh. Is it? That's fresh. Oh, yeah. That must be old then. Pass it here. No, oh, that's fresh too. So should we just use that then? That's about seven litres then, right? That's definitely fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, we already had oil. Well, oh, it's always good no. to have. <laughs> you can't lose that. It's always good to have. This is proper yeah. Marigot oil too, so. And it's what we've been using for the last year. Nice. So we're going to use this then, but we'll have to put the old oil in there and then just hope that we can find somewhere to tip it out. There we go. Righty tighty. Lefty Lucy. Don't lose it. Okay. Pump. Takes a while, doesn't it, before it yeah. starts. Out. So we're all done pumping out all the oil. There's no, some not already. Of, move your head. <laughs> There's some of it in there and the rest is in there. But we did notice this wire we did notice this wire is loose. It's a bit scary because it's connected to this which is like a safety regulator it's a bit scary we don't know how whether we've knocked it now or whether it's been like that for a while yeah so we sent a picture to fill our electrician 
and we will see. Everything's always simple. But we've done the end, the oil, that was easy. <sighs> okay, it's time to try and get the old filter off. And you can never see much of this because it's down here in the most awkward spot ever. And I'm, <laughs> if you're wondering what this is, I'm just gonna put it on the bottom of the engine bay to try and catch anything that might come off. Bye! See ya! I didn't think our new wrench is gonna fit down there. No. It's really tight. We'll try it. Yeah, it doesn't, you can't fit round it. It's so annoying. It's really tight. So, that's enough clean hands. Time to burst all the blood vessels in my face. Yes! You got it. Coming loose already. Nice. That's just the task of getting it out, not making a massive mess. Oh, I can see oil going somewhere. Come on. Got it. Nice, well done. <laughs> I feel like I'm receiving an award. <laughs> Best boater. <laughs> oh, yes. Unboxing new oil filter. Here we go. Oil filter. Thank you. Prime the gasket. We know all the terms now. Okay. Over tightening causes leakage. Also, other tightening causes leakage. Boats are just get it just right. Trying. Boats are just always trying to leak all the time. Mmm, mayo and <laughs> diesel. Diesel mayo. Going into the food market with diesel mayo from boat time. It's pink, is it? Yeah? Yeah. Diesel mayo from boat time. Diesel mayo is not safe for human consumption. It's Cassandra coming out for this one. <laughs> Cassandra's coming to play. Righty tighty. Diesel mayo is not Lefty. recommended for human consumption. Lucy, so towards me is to loosen it. Here okay. we go. The debut. Come on, Cass. She's going in. Oh, look at that grip. I'm scared. Mm. There's still a lot of things in the way. <gasps> look at that! Oh my god, is it turning already? Yeah. I haven't got a single hernia. <laughs> <gasps> really happy. Cassandra, Cassandra. Everyone comment. Go Cassandra in the comments. <laughs> Show Cassandra some love. I'm gonna try. Right, don't make a mess. Oh, I'm making a mess. Oh, oh quick, put the thing I'm there. making a mess. What are you doing? I'm making a mess. You should have gloves on. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, it's going everywhere. Tickle it now. Oh. Uh, What's happening? More kitchen towel. Should we turn the fuel light need... off? Shh. Just get the... Oh, God. Oh, kitchen towel. This would stop happening would if it? we turn the fuel line off. Yes. I think so. Easy. Box. Where's box. the box? Box. What did you do with it? Oh, it's there. It's not even open yet. Oh. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> this is our own little trick. This is not part of the tutorial. Do not do this ever. Don't even think about it. But this is our little trick as an easy way to get some diesel because we don't have any diesel in jerry cans or anything. Yeah, and this worked last time, and basically, if you just put a filter on like that and turn the engine on, I think you have to like, you have to bleed stuff and wait until diesel shoots out of things, and that's really scary. But if you fill the filter up with diesel first... Right, that's a good tip. That's a yeah, yeah. safe tip. Yeah. So if you fill the filter up with diesel first, then screw it on, then you don't necessarily have to bleed it. You don't have to prime it as much, but the naughty tip is where we get the diesel from. We just get it out of this thing. Because it's the same thing, right? It's just our diesel line filter thing. Just pop, pop it in there. That's all right. That's fine. I think it's just dodgy because it's not being filtered. Yeah, as long as you run the water off the bottom of this first, otherwise you're just putting potentially watery diesel in. But we've done that. Sure. 
tips with boat time. No, not tips. Naughty tips. Things that you should definitely not do. But it might be a good tip. We don't know. We're doing it. Don't let us know in the comments. We want to live in blissful ignorance. Look at those grubby little hands. It's a DIYer if ever I've seen them. <laughs> I am the epitome of manliness right now. I've got grubby hands, a head torch on, and I'm doing engine stuff. Such a stereotype that I'm not helping. <laughs> but to be fair, Amy's got to film it, and once you start going, your hands get so grubby, and then to touch the camera, you have to wash them all the time, so swapping is just a real pain. I would do it, for the record. I also get sensory issues, which I just don't like touching oil. <laughs> get in that squat position. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stand up after this. New fuel filter going on. He's the best! Around! <laughs> Come on! I just love how you're just straddling the engine. It's the only way. I remember this from last time. The thread doesn't catch easily. I was turning it the wrong way. I'm turning it the right way now. Easy. Okay, Easy. You're a very clean mechanic, aren't you? Yeah, I pride myself on being the cleanest mechanic. You can come again. On the channel. Right. Yeah. Don't need to pump it. Careful, you don't want to cause too much pressure in there. Is that possible? I don't know. Don't you have to pump it until it stops coming up? No, just stop. I'm scared. Oh! <laughs> I forgot I had that on. <laughs> Good job it didn't go in the canal. <laughs> Okay, the substitution has occurred. Swapped. Air filter time. I hope this is the right one, because it it's does look pink. a bit different. But this is the one on the website that is specifically for this exact engine. So before and after. Oh, goodness. Oh, that one's a lot thicker. Is it? Might not be the right one. Give it a little clean out in there. Rufus, I know you love putting the new air filter in, but you're going to have to wait there. Does it fit? Ish. Does it fit the other way better? Hmm. It might just be a different version. Maybe we should have got the other one. Because the, the other one on the website looked like that, but it didn't say our engine model. So, and it's hard to gauge because it might have turned up and been like this big. Will it stay if you put the lid on? Yeah, I think so. No, it's not ideal. Oh. Why you made me take over now? <laughs> Amy had one job. Go. Is that in? I don't know if that's in. No, I don't think that's in. Yeah, I think it is. Are you sure? Are we... Oh, I don't know, guy. Well, we got we've it in. We've managed to squeeze it in, but it feels tight. Like, so we're not sure whether that's going to cause problems or whether it's okay, but it's just more snug fitting. We'll run it because we're going to test anyway with the oil and we'll run it. And if, if it sounds different anyway, then we'll just clean this up a bit and put that back in. Because these are easy to get hold of and they're easy to change. So I'd rather just leave it in for like a little bit longer. Mainly dog it, to be fair. So when we do run it, if we hear something dodgy, then either the filters might be slightly loose, there might be a leak somewhere, we might not put something back on properly, the air filter might be wrong, or this it might be because this cable's loose. That's pretty easy to diagnose. <laughs> I'm scared about what James said, where it runs away and explodes. Right, fill up with oil then. That's technically the last job, isn't it? Yeah. Fresh oil, GG! Here we go. Look at that clean, good oil, GG. Drink it up. Good, 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 good. good. <laughs> Can't be done. Right, so I've put probably about one in, so let's check. We think we take about seven litres. Okay, so it's on the full line, but now we need to run the engine. Yeah. To get it going through the system. Yeah. Because it looks empty. Yeah. It's 
the third time doing it, I still feel like <laughs> nervous. It's definitely saying full. So if it does start to run away, <laughs> James said all you do is you put your hand over that until it cuts out. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, here we go. I'm scared. We're, we're pretty sure that that wire isn't anything to do with the engine because it's connected to the alternator and engines can work without alternators. So we're pretty sure it's still safe to turn on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Ready? Yeah. No fuel leaks, Jack. Can you see oil? I can't see any oil leaks. No. It's hard to see in there generally. We've messaged our wonderful electrician Phil. He said it's for the alternator protector and it needs to go back on. We don't know how long that's been off for. That I've, might have been off for ages. I've not noticed it, but to be honest, like when we do our engine checks, obviously it's kind of hard to spot one little wire that's just slightly come loose. I'm scared. Man. So we've asked him, can we just kind of poke it back in and electrical tape it, or do we have to fully disconnect everything? Because I'm scared to do that. Also, we haven't got the bits to do that. No, yeah. Well, I don't know. Anyway, let me do the oil. Back know... to the oil. So we've run the engine, which has sucked through some oil and stuff. So then always check it again, because now we need a little bit more after running it. Good job I spotted that, innit? Well, I think, other than the alternator, which isn't really part of the engine service, it runs fine, there's no leaks. The air filter, we're gonna hang on to the old one, just in case. <laughs> the only thing is, yeah, that that cable's come off the alternator, and it sounds like it does need fixing. But as far as the engine service goes, I think that was our smoothest one yet. Yay! We're getting better at things. <laughs> Honorary flyover from the geese. <laughs> Big shout out Phil, specialist electrician. He's great and he has by text helped us what to do. Seems pretty easy so we're gonna go to Halfords tomorrow morning and give it a go. So we'll see you then. Good morning. We're back in the engine bay and we're ready to become fully-fledged engineering electricians. So we've been to Halfords this morning, thank you Bears for taking us, and we've got what we think are the right things. Obviously we didn't know the right size, so we've just got a bunch of them. And we definitely could have took that off to take the correct one with us, but we, I think we were just too scared yesterday to touch it. I don't know, but we need it because it's a safety issue, I think, otherwise. So, let's electrics. So this is the bit that we've got to take off. That's the bit that's come off that wire. And it leads to the Sterling Alternator Open Circuit Protection Unit. Which sounds very important. This is the first time we've done boat electrics. Whoa, don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just tinkering with the old electrics. On the engine. Those are connected to the batteries. Oh my God. We don't think the order matters, but we're going to keep it the same order just to be safe. So it's thin guy. Keep them connected. They're stuck together, that's fine. Here we go. There it is. Oh no. Should we go with the red one that fits? <laughs> Does the size of the hole matter <laughs> yeah. in terms of electricalness? Do we go with the red one that fits on the hole, or the blue one that looks like the same size? But it's different amperages. Wait, what does this say? 1.25-10, oh. that says 16 to 14. Interesting. <laughs> Great. I'd use the red one. The thing that's stressful about this job is the inverter and everything else works exactly the same without it. So we don't know whether we fix it or not. There's no way of knowing oh, yeah. unless it blows up and doesn't stop the, en the engine from blowing up. At that point then we will know. 
but it's kind of too late then. Excuse me, mate, just doing me electrics. Watch out, engine electrician coming through. <laughs> Stand back. Excuse me, are you qualified to be in the proximity of me doing the electrics? Go on. Is that the right bit? Go on, lad. I won't strip it much. It's easier with a knife. Yeah. Do you just pull? Do you just twist and spin? It's the wrong size. Twist and spin? Strip. Mate, you just strip it with activate. a knife. Strip, activate. You're good at that. Oh! Oh. <laughs> there. Right, I've put that in the old, whatchamacallit. Now nah, get, get the, the old, old blowers. Yeah. <laughs> get the old blowers ahead. <laughs> we bought some crimpers. We don't even know how to use these. Your crimple stilt skins. So is it this one? Um, we're just matching red to red. We don't even know how to use the tools. Get it like further back. There. Yeah. Go, do it. Wah! Crimp! 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 So if I just put it like that. A bit further back, maybe. Yeah. Right. So now that we've got the crimps. <laughs> Wait, is it the right order? Yeah. Oh, back on it goes. That, that, that. Have you done it? I mean, it's on. Should I turn the engine on? Sand back. <laughs> Link down below. We did it! Trim, trim, trim. Yay, it's not melting. Oh, nice. I mean, we still don't know if it works, but it's back on there, all right. At least it looks right. Yes. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Who you got? Come on, then, should we go on a walk? Oh, yeah. the engine service we've nailed the really complex boat electrics and I just feel like we're doing really well this winter we're in a beautiful town we're like burning the forage wood that we forage in yeah, taking it slow first winter you it's your training wheels and it's also everything's so novel so it's still a little bit exciting <laughs> your second winter is when you're really sort of like trying to get to grips with it, but it's probably a bit more stressful because more things testing. start breaking. And then your third winter is when you feel like you, you know, finally know a bit more about what you're doing. Yeah, and I feel like that is definitely rung true for us, hasn't it? Yeah. <sighs> We're just going to go on a lovely springtime afternoon walk around. It's not spring yet. No. <laughs> We're going to... We're gonna go on a lovely afternoon winter sunshine walk around and we're gonna try and spot as many signs of spring as we can to keep us going. Yeah. Look! Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> and these? On, spring, you can do it. Oh, I love spring so much. Oh, <laughs> the realities of trying to get angles like this. 
Lovely. <laughs> Oh, Careful, you're crushing spring. Forever just getting close to the end of a train. <laughs> Feels like spring! But, as you remember from previous years, there's normally about four false springs before it actually becomes spring. So this is false spring number one. putting up with us with another successful engine service. Big shout out to the Chip Pals over on Patreon. If you want to become a Chip Pal for extra clips and behind the scenes, the link is in our description. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and follow us on our socials and we will see you next time. <laughs>